so the question was, do you have a late checkout? So the answer is no, you don't have a late checkout. Obviously, I'm not going to book another night to check out an hour later. Just, just answer the question. Don't waste any of our time. Hello and welcome. You are watching my review of the brand new two week old landmark hotel in Medellin, Colombia. When you're done with this video, you will know where to stay in this hotel if you decide to come and book it. In addition to some other hotels here in Medellin, I want to remind you that I have a playlist of 12 other hotels and hostels in Medellin. I'll put a link in the description there. Stay to the very end as I have a comment as it relates to brand new hotels, which I've stayed a few times over the past few months. I'm going to cover everything. I have about 12 categories, guest policy, Wi-Fi, breakfast, room layout, hotel uh, layout, the neighborhood, the um, on-site restaurants, etc. Uh, in no particular order, let's jump into it. We'll start off with briefly my history. I have a little history with the Landmark Hotel. I was thinking about investing in this hotel back when it came out. It was in progress for years. This hotel was going to be built uh, for years and finally it is uh, open. It, it came open in middle of um, February or March, I think. Okay, the overall hotel design. It's nice, it's classy, it seems very modern. It looks like, the outside of it looks like a big mansion. It's cool, it has some cool unique features as well, some nice common space. The hotel layout, here I'll let you know where you might wanna stay in this hotel. There's seven levels. The first level is reception, the second level is also reception, it's, it's double levels. The seventh floor is the, is the pool. So third and fourth rooms are bigger than fifth and sixth rooms, but they're the same price. So the hotel told me that typically they give five and six rooms uh, to people who are only staying one night. Now, I guess technically five and six does have a better view, but interestingly enough, while the rooftop has an epic view, the rooms don't have that good of a view because the side of the building, which should have a good view, there's no windows on that side for some reason. It's kind of strange. So I would suggest if you get, I would go for a garden, a garden view, which is towards the center. It's got some trees and whatnot. I'm looking out right now. I have, I'm facing the street and there's a bunch of wires in front of me. There are some duplexes in this hotel, two, two level hotel rooms. The Wi-Fi was kind of strange. I tested it a few times and it came back very, very low, but I used my computer in my room in the lobby on the rooftop and it was all fine with the exception of the rooftop, maybe lost signal a few times. I didn't notice anything strange except when I was uploading an Instagram story, it took a long time, but I'm going to give that the, the Wi-Fi is, is average. If you're doing average stuff, no problem. The breakfast. Well, there is no breakfast, so that's a bummer. A lot of the hotels in this area have breakfast included. Uh, the Landmark Hotel, that's not true. The guest visitor policy, very strict. I think that's probably a thing with all Casa Cole hotels. I just stayed here by myself. The first thing the receptionist asked me, and by the way, the receptionist was very friendly, two girls, um, and they, she asked me, are you going to bring any guests here? And I said, um, no. And she said, okay. And then, I, and then I thought, well, wait, what's the guest policy? And she's like, yeah, that's what I was asking. We have a very strict guest policy. If you don't sign them up right now at the beginning, um, then, uh, and you can have one because it's two occupancy, then we'll charge you 200,000 Columbia pesos. That's about $50. That's quite strict for this, for this city. Additionally, I had to sign a long ass contract, <laughs> um, which I don't like doing, but it was, they were very specific about the do's and don'ts. The hotel seems rather strict on their rules here in general. The video will be back shortly, but I promised Reishi and Luna they could say something. The rooms, I'm here, I'm here in the room now. It is uh, nice and comfy. This room, I didn't get the cheapest. I got the one above it, which was an extra 30,000 pesos, which is like $8. The room layout is great. It feels bigger than it is. The coolest feature is the water feature. They have a separate um, water faucet that is clean water. That's cool, I like that. Watch out, warning, the, the doors don't close by themselves. So you make sure that you actually close the door. There's also no alarm to let you know that you didn't close the door. The rooftop is nice. The neighborhood Manila has epic views for where it's at. It's at the bottom of the hill. Medellin is like in a bowl and Manila is at the bottom. But because of where it's at and how the city is laid out, it has really epic views, the rooftop. So if you go to the rooftop, you'll see one, you'll see a long pool with a hot tub and a child section. It's a fenced off pool. And then on both sides, there'll be like little lounge areas. Views are very epic. They say that it opens until 9 p.m. I went up there um, both nights, Saturday and Sunday, around like 9.30, and there was some folks up there um, partying and just having a good time, you know, relaxed party, a little music, a little talking, maybe eight people. So good, good area to potentially make friends because there's not a lot of common space in this area. And also on Mondays, the receptionist, they told me that it's closed on Monday. Today's Monday, so I'm gonna go check, but um, that's, kind of a, that's kind of a bummer. The neighborhood is Manila. I've talked about this in numerous of my other reviews. Los Patios, Viajero, Manila Boutique, 
hotel, um, Nomad a hostel. And I even stayed in a Airbnb private room in this hotel and on my professional YouTube channel, Optimize My Airbnb, where I teach Airbnb hosts how to make more money. I did a review of that uh, room as well. It was $17 a night. With that, let's get into price. The price here, I paid $740,000 for two nights. That's about 75 bucks a night. And I'll talk about why it might not be worth it to stay here yet at the end when I talk about my new hotel realization I made. Now, late checkout, following with the strictness of this hotel, I asked them yesterday, I said, do you, checkout is 12 p.m. I said, do you guys have a late um, checkout? And the guy um, was a male receptionist at this point, and he, he did a little check, and then he said, you'll have to book another night. And it kind of actually perturbed me. I was like, so the question was, do you have a late checkout? So the answer is no, you don't have a late checkout. Obviously, I'm not going to book another night to check out an hour later. Just, just answer the question. Don't waste any of our time. And additionally to that, this is a new hotel. So it's the rooms are not, it's not a busy hotel. I saw two people in the hallways this whole time. So really, you don't have a late checkout? There's no one here. That's not that good of customer service. Speaking of all this um, strictness, I have an Airbnb in Medellin. So if you're coming with a group and you want less rules and more space, you want uh, a private jacuzzi, for example, we have a very flexible visitor policy and uh, we, it's not an open door policy, but it's very flexible. You can read more about that on Airbnb and our late checkout and early check-in, if at all possible, I can do it. I reached out to the guest today who's checking out. I said, you guys can check out later. I don't have a same day check-in, but we can store your luggage all day within the reception. It's called the Belmonte Penthouse. You can find it on Airbnb, on Instagram, on YouTube. I'll put a link down here, and if I can, up here. And to wrap up, a realization I made about new hotels. I'm not going to book a new hotel, I don't think, because what happens is I don't think there's any discount. The price I paid is about, based on my experience of staying in a dozen hotels in Medellin, the price is about what it will be when the hotel is fully ready to go. Because it's new, all that's happening is I'm paying the same price and I'm getting less services. There is no gym. There is going to be a, there, uh, a second restaurant on the ground floor. It's only one restaurant and that one restaurant only stays open till three. There's no seats or anything in the, in the garden patio area. Um, the rooftop, they're gonna get a bar, they said in, in six months. There's no co-working space in here. There's no like office space. That's just a no. But the, uh, the, the workers here, they told me it'll take about six months. We're in Colombia, things take 50% longer. So I wouldn't book this hotel if I were to come back. It's a nice experience, but I wouldn't come back until end of this year, early next year, when all of the services are here, unless I'm getting a clear, a clear discount. That was my review of the landmark hotel here in Medellin, Colombia, specifically in Barrio Manila. And uh, I hope you do will, uh, let me know with a comment down below what you think of this hotel or any other hotel you've been here. Let's start a conversation. I'll see you in the comments. Until next time, ciao.